Guys, so the reason why I decided to focus on the entryway first is because I didn't want to overwhelm y'all with a huge test like the kitchen or parts of your living room. Hello, all my Restyle family. Today is the first day of our Cleanish Challenge. I am standing here at my front door in the entryway because this is our first area to tackle. We will be starting here and then I'm going to go right into this coat closet here and tackle all of these coats and shoes and get it organized. So come along with me, put down whatever you have and get up and let's go ahead and walk to our front doors and get organizing all right guys so this is what our front entry looks like so i had got this rug here from target and you see we have like this small nook so i decided to grab this shoe container here from ikea which has done wonders but as you can see we also have some shoes down here my husband just throws shoes here and then in here they're not as organized as they need to be so i'm gonna come in here put all our shoes in these bins that we use more often um that will fit in there and organize and then i bought a um basket to go down here but yeah that's so far what i will be doing so i'll be moving these shoes sweeping up the front area and then reorganizing that and then this closet here is where we're having the most trouble. So if we walk in here, open it, I have like my purses here, some scarves, and then in the closet, it's jam packed full of coats. And it's like, when we try to find coats, we have to like pull some out and then there's tons of hangers, some that don't have any, and then more shoes. So I also bought a shoe rack that fits the space that we'll put in there. Then I'm gonna go in here, declutter these jackets, go ahead and see what we use, what we don't use, what we could take upstairs, what could just be donated. And then I got two baskets I'm gonna put up here. I'm gonna do one for my scarves and one for my purses. And then just label those. And that will be all for organizing this mess of a coat closet and entryway here. to actually wipe this top part down, clean it up, um, and then go in here, clear out everything, and get everything organized. So when we first moved in, um, I went to Ikea and grabbed this um, storage unit and my husband went ahead and just hung it. It's like two screws that you put in there and it's very sturdy. So this is a great hack um, or idea for an entry space. Because the angle, but they're sliding right and pretty perfect. And look at how perfect that just sits in there, guys. Like, 
let me come a little closer so you can see so I just placed them right in there and I turned them to the side um, so that they can have more space in here those are gonna be these are all his one two three of these are his and then these two over here are mine that's that and then we'll go in here and I think I just want to put like my work shoes and sandals in here this basket here from Target um, let's see how much it was I can't remember I think it's like $20 $19.99 at Target so this is the basket that I have picked up to use in the space That is it for this entryway here. This is all I really did, but we're gonna go and look in the closet and pull out all the stuff that's in all there. Right, guys, so I am actually going to pull out these shoes in here, start seeing what we want, don't need, and then reorganizing them. I, Like I said earlier, I bought a um, shoe rack to put in here so that these shoes can be stacked up on there and we're not just having um, shoes just everywhere. So I will put the shoe rack in here, then also look up here and see what coats we need, want, want to donate, get rid of, all of that. I'm not gonna toss any of my husband's shoes or jackets, he's not here at the moment, so I don't want to toss his stuff without getting his input and seeing what he wants to keep. I'm just gonna um, look through my items and just reorganize his stuff because a lot of the shoes that are in here he does wear, that's, probably, that's the reason why they're down here. I didn't even know I had like these were my old boots my stepping boots when I was in college uh, at my sorority I was on the step team and these were the boots that we wore um, they actually are very comfortable and I'll probably wear these maybe while doing um, site visits for when I am doing reconstruction and my interior work I can have those to protect my feet. And I also have these that I really rarely wear, but I like them and I think I'm going to wear them more often. I need to pull them from the back of the closet and maybe I would see them, but I like these boots, so I'm keeping those. These were shoes that I've wore for my friend's wedding and then wore them again for my wedding. It wasn't purposely supposed to be like that. It rained on our wedding day. Our wedding was outside and I didn't want to walk in wet grass with heels so I wore these and then just ended up wearing them the whole night which is pretty funny because I had two different sets of heels and didn't wear either one of those, just wore those sandals. There is just way too many shoes. And, ugh, crutches, guys. I'm 
probably gonna toss these. I don't know why I still have these. They're just taking up space in the closet. This is why we do this, guys, so that we can make sure that we are getting rid of items that we don't no longer use. Stuff that's in the back of your closet you may not know that's back there because you haven't been back there in so long. So it's good to occasionally go in like I'm doing and do a declutter, pull everything out. I actually have this new Black and Decker um, vacuum that I got for Christmas and I am going to go in and vacuum in here. <sighs> that is clean now um again we have a lot of shoes a lot of them aren't mine now that i'm looking at them <laughs> a lot of them are my husband. The ones that i do have i do use um so these are my favorite pumas these are so comfortable like they have what is it the soft foam on the inside and it feels like you're just walking on a memory foam all day in this so these i have these I use to work out in. These are more kind of like what I, just when I want to look nice. <laughs> and these are new, same, they, when I just want to put on some sneakers with an outfit. These right here are what I really, really work out in and can get kind of dirty and grimy and stuff. And then these are the ones that I um, do my restyle projects in. So I am definitely going to keep all my shoes uh, that I have here and I guess keep it so we just have a lot of shoes down here and I think once I maybe I like, clear out some of the clutter in with the clothes that this will then like free up some more space this um, coat I really like but I don't wear it I did not wear it at all this winter so I think I'm gonna give it a new home. This jacket I love, I wanna keep. It's so cozy. I got it uh, from my sister-in-law and it is so nice. She gave it to me for Christmas one year, so I'm definitely keeping that. Um, then this bad boy. I love this, but it's so dirty, guys. And I don't think that I can get it fixed. So I might have to part with it. I grabbed this one for Christmas, which is new, and I'm definitely gonna keep this. Then I have just tons of hangers that are just in the way. And that was probably taking up so much space too in this closet. Then my husband has his from his clothing brand that are down here. But he doesn't wear these either, so I'm thinking we can just put these upstairs. So those are key, but they're not going to be in this coat closet because he doesn't use it. And then I don't even think this is ours. I think this is one of his fraternity brothers <laughs> um, jackets. So I'm going to put this over here too, and we can go through that later. other outfits I just have this green one this denim this another live above um, jacket that I got uh, for my husband's clothing brand and I'm definitely keeping this this is the uh, black is legendary their uh, black history month collection so I'm keeping this but I think I want to put it in my closet Tons of purses up here that I need to go through, look at, and sort through and throw away if I don't use. So let's pull these down as well.
guys so this is what it looks like all the stuff that i just pulled out of this closet it is tons of it look at that it just keeps going so these are all the coats that were in the closet that i took out uh, majority of them are my husband's these two at the top are mine um that one and that pink one are mine that i'm gonna put into my closet these are all my purses and my scarves i got this bin here to put in the closet so i'm going to um sort through my purses put them in here label that uh this front thing right here purses and scarves and then i'll just put it up here but this is what it looks like so far i'm about to set up the um what is that shoe rack and put it in this space make sure if you do grab a shoe rack like i did to measure this space or get one that expands so that um it will fit because if you get one that's too short or too long it will not fit in here or if you get it too short you're not gonna like fill up the whole thing with shoes so just make sure to measure that space before doing that so i'm done setting this shoe rack up it is pretty tall um and i know some of the coats that are in there are the longer coats so it might hit there or i might just not put shoes on the top top part of the rack because i don't want when i pull out um shirts or jackets out of the closet that the shoes fall off too but this is what it looks like it is a expandable one um like i said earlier you want to measure it and my space was an awkward size where they just didn't have one already um that size so i got this one where it expands out really far or really compact this is how small it is that's the smallest it goes um but yeah, I don't know if you can really see from this angle, but I am just expanding this out as far as it can go. I don't know why my husband just keeps socks in his shoes. I'm just gonna zoom in a little closer so that you could just see my folding technique and how I'm going to fold and keep these items in here. In this basket, I am going to add in my scarves and I will label this how I normally fold my stuff. So this is just an infinity scarf, which is really pretty easy um, to do this. I like to just fold things where it's small, compact, but will fit nicely into things. Uh, so I'll just fold it in half here. Then fold it again. From there, whoop, make sure it's good. From there, I will then fold it down again and two more times. And then that just allows me to lay it just nicely um this one was kind of already there and then these are those large like huge square kind that have been trending lately. I usually just fold it like in a diamond shape like this. And then once it's folded like that, then I can come in 
fold it again. And the reason why I did the diamond shape is just because that's the way I normally take it off after wearing it. Um, so I don't do too much to try to refold it. I'm, again, guys, I'm cleanish. I'm not trying to take up a whole bunch of my time to reorganize every day or fold perfectly so that it could go back into the place exactly. So I just, to me, this is the easiest way to do it. So I just keep folding it. And then once I get it to a smaller section, I bring this angle, which is, this kind of gets a little confusing, but this this one um, angle of the triangle, I'll fold it down. And then I'll take the other angle of this triangle and fold it over, which then creates the box shape that we would need. Uh, like if we were to open it and just initially fold it in a square. Um, then from there, all I do is just fold it down and that's that. So now these are all my scarves and that's the end. So I'll put these scarves up. Next. These are my purses. I just, for some reason, I, when I'm done with my purse, I just leave the stuff in it like this. I have candy in here. Why do I have candy in you? What else do I have in here? Lipstick. So that's one thing I need to get better at is just decluttering the purses once I'm done. Purses, man, guys. This is the final look of the coat closet. I'm loving how everything turned out and how easy it was to stack and see all of our shoes with this shoe rack. All right, guys, so that is all for this week's video. I hope you learned so much from it and took away a lot of tips and tricks on how to get your coat closet and entryways organized. Next week, we actually are gonna head on into the kitchen and pantry areas and get those spaces organized. So make sure to go ahead and hit that subscription button below and get notified every time we post a new video. I'll talk to y'all next week. Bye.